Hello, everyone. Hope you are well on a Thursday night. Hang in there. It's almost Friday. Well, as you can tell by the rising prices on especially gas and food, our leaders, especially at the federal level, loathe you. I mean, they really do loathe you. They don't give a flying dog squeeze about you. I mean, really. They think we're stupid, too. I'll get more into that here in a minute. But they think we are just totally clueless. Some are, sure. But most of us are not. We just don't say it a lot. We're silent. So the administration bans Russian oil and gas, energy, and then is trying to tell us so many words that paying a little extra is patriotic. Let's just take it for the team. You should be glad to do this. You're sticking it to Putin. What a bunch of BS, man. I mean, it is total, total BS, total lies. Most of us know this, all right? It's just saying to us, bend over and think and take it more. Take it all. Thank you, may I have another? I mean, that's what I get out of it. What do you think? I mean, take it, plebe. You are meant to be ruled. Be happy about it. And I'm not talking just about the current administration or the Democrats, the Republicans. Oh, yeah, they're in on it, too. They're all in on it. Let's stick it to Putin. He's evil. That may be true. But you're not going to hurt him by doing this. You're not going to hurt him by banning his oil and then hurting the American people, your own constituents. I mean, he's already found other buyers for his oil and gas. I'm going to hurt him. You're just hurting ourselves. You're hurting us, the middle class, the folks. I mean, we need, we're, we're the ones trying to make a living, honestly, uh, do the right thing. We're going to school. We're going to doctor's appointments, helping family, work. We need the gas. We, you know, got to go places. We got to take care of business. Not to mention drivers like truck drivers. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I don't know how they're doing it. It's just getting passed on down, you know, I'm sure. But, uh, but yeah, it's both sides of the aisle. Can't just blame Democrats on this one. They're all in. Uh, I saw somebody say you should be okay with paying five, six dollars a gallon. No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. They were starting to rise. The, the gas was rising before the war started. So we were already screwed then. <laughs> Cutting pipelines. I mean, that's been happening. Um, so my question is, why do we have to go and buy oil and gas from other places? We have enough natural resources. We have enough oil on the ground here. Uh, we have what we need here, North America. We could be self-sufficient. We were virtually that to begin with for a couple of years, so years ago. We have good trading partners to the north with our friends in Canada. We could trade with Europe, Western Europe. We could trade with uh, countries in the south, South America, Mexico. Let's just do that. Don't need to go to United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia for oil and then get shut down. I mean, well, how disgraceful, how shameful was that? It's just pathetic, really. I mean, what's going on, you know? But, uh, but really, I mean, the United States is positioned. I mean, we have two major oceans on both sides of the country. Plenty of natural resources. Should be fine. You think the gas prices are high now? Just wait. They're really going to go way up. You see $150 to $200 uh, dollars for a barrel of oil. So, and it's not going to be just gas. Probably heard, I mean, I'm talking about it, but the food, everything else, but especially the food is going to, ripple down to that. It's going to ripple 
the ripple effects of the gas goes to everything else. It's got to get to you by truck, you know. So, and by the way, talking about the Russians, turns out they were right about those bio labs in Ukraine. I mean, um, yeah, we have bio labs funded by the United States in Ukraine. Many of them. That sparks a few questions, doesn't it? More than a few questions, actually, but a few for sure that uh, right off the top of my head here is, first of all, before I get to that, when the, when the Russians came out and said, we found your bio labs, you funded United States. And uh, the mainstream media was quick to say, that's fake news, that's not right, that's just Russian propaganda. No, it is true. So they're right on that. Now that doesn't excuse them for invading Ukraine and bombing civilians. I believe that's happening. People are suffering, but they're right about the bio labs and what exactly is going on there in, the, in these labs? I mean, what do they have? What are they working on in there? Uh, what are they gonna use it for? And maybe most importantly is why weren't they secured when you know when you knew this invasion was likely to happen, and then when it started, you had time. What buffoons? I mean, total mismanagement on multiple levels. It's hard to describe in words. But why weren't they secured? And what you know, what's going on in these labs? They've been there for years. They've been there for a while. And why the Ukraine? I mean, it, it really opens up a lot of questions and makes you wonder. Uh, anyway, share your thoughts on that. But, uh, ah, you know, I'm confused. Somebody explain this to me. Okay. I got to have a verse to deal with this. Verse today is Luke chapter 11, verse 13 says, if you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? That'll make you think, huh? We got to keep praying, y'all. Keep praying. And um, every day, without ceasing. Every day, all day. We need it. That's all I have today. Share your thoughts. Y'all be safe out there. God bless you. I will see you soon.